it's Kayla and I am back with another video. I know it has been quite a while since my last video and I am also aware that I say that in the beginning of all of my videos now. Um, I have not quit YouTube. I don't have any plans to quit YouTube. Um, my videos are just um, fewer and farther between than they used to be, but I do plan on still making them. Um, making YouTube videos regularly is like a full-time job and I have a full-time job. So I haven't had a whole lot of time for YouTube, but I'm not giving up on it. So um, anyways, I'm here. So today's video is going to be kind of like a compilation story time slash experiences using a white cane. Um, so I have some like funny stories, some kind of scary stories, um, and maybe some like annoying stories slash the public is very uneducated about white canes and blind people. Um, so I just thought I'd sit down and tell some of those stories today and like let's just chat about what it's like to be a blind person out in the world using a white cane. So let's start off strong with some funny stories. Um, so I guess to give a little bit of context, I did not start using a cane until I was 18, even though I had always been legally blind my whole life, but I felt like I didn't need a cane. Um, but when I started college, I gave in and was like, yeah, I guess probably I do need a cane. The campus was very big. I was walking a lot. I lived in an apartment slightly off campus, but close to it. And so I was walking, having to cross some main streets to get to campus, all that stuff. So I started using a cane for the first time when I started college. I did a little bit of orientation and mobility training leading up to that. We kind of mapped the campus, my classes, the library, student center, all that stuff. Um, but on my very first day of college, which was also my very first day of using a white cane, I was walking along to my very first college class, um, an 8 a.m. class, and my cane got stuck in a crack in the sidewalk, as they often do. And so the cane stabs me in the gut, as they often do, which is quite painful. And so I picked my cane up to kind of like reposition it. And when I picked it up, it was stuck in my dress. And so my dress came up with the cane and I flashed my underwear to the college campus on my very first day of college. Um, luckily, since I was on my way to an 8 a.m. class, it was very early. There wasn't a ton of people, but there were people um, there that definitely got to see my underwear. So happy first day of college to me. Happy first day of using a cane to me. Um, moral of the story is be careful when you are using a cane while wearing a dress. Next funny story, which is kind of funny, a little bit not funny. Um, so I was walking on campus, um, which by the way, like most of these stories are from when I was in college because that was just a time in my life where I was using my cane a lot. I was out and about independently every single day for four years using my cane. That was the most I've ever used my cane in my whole life. So that's where most of these stories come from. Um, but anyways, I was walking, a, a walking along, walking a class, and I hear another blind person with a cane, you know, that sound like <laughs> of it scraping against the sidewalk while you're swiping it back and forth. Lovely sound. So I hear that sound coming at me, um, another blind person with a cane, and so I'm like, mm, what do I do? We're heading straight towards each other. I'm gonna try to avoid them. Um, I thought I moved out of their way. I failed. I tripped over their cane and was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. And they, they just continued walking. And so they passed me and then they yell back over their shoulder, next time try to watch where you're going. And I was like, oh my gosh, I, <laughs> I would watch where I was going if my eyes worked. 
but they do not, much like yours, sir. Um, so yeah, I got yelled at another blind person for not watching where I'm going. I would have thought that they heard my cane as well, which was just as loud and obnoxious as their cane going back and forth on the concrete. Um, maybe they were hard of hearing, deafblind, possibly. Um, but yeah, that was an interesting experience to get yelled at like that by another blind person um, for tripping over their cane. Another funny cane story is one time I was walking with my husband and we were just like goofing around. I don't remember why, but I decided to trip him with my cane, just kind of, like I said, goofing around. I accidentally tripped him too good that he really, really tripped over it, almost fell, almost face planted on the concrete, luckily not, but um, hurt his leg and also he bent my cane so much so that uh, I could no longer use it. I had to lay that cane to rest because it was crooked. So yeah, I don't recommend goofing around and tripping people with your cane. Also, RIP to my favorite hot pink cane. Okay, so now let me tell you about my scary cane story, the time that I almost got ran over. Um, so I guess to give a little bit more background, um, when I was in college and using a cane, it was more of a kind of like backup security measure. I still had relatively good vision. And when I say good vision, I don't mean good compared to a sighted person. I mean good compared to like now when I'm almost completely blind and I think back on just being regularly legally blind and I'm like, wow, I could see so much then. So um, don't get confused when I say I could see well. I could see well for a blind person. I was still blind. Um, but anyways, um, the cane was kind of like backup security. Um, I could still see relatively well um, in the daylight to get myself around. If it was dark, um, all bets were off, couldn't see anything. But anyways, so I was walking from my apartment to campus. Um, and so I lived, it's probably like a five minute walk, if that, to the very edge of campus. So there was my apartment, it was on a very busy main street. I had to pass a gas station, a smoothie place, another gas station, and then cross the street and then I was to the campus. Um, so I had to cross these, like, what do you call it? A drive, maybe, where cars were like coming in and out of the gas station. And like I said, it was it was on a main road, so they were relatively busy. I had to cross these drives. And so sometimes there would be a car sitting there waiting to, um, like waiting to go. And they were sitting on the drive, so they would be blocking my path. So I'd have to wait for them to move or I could maybe go around the back of the car which I didn't really like to do navigating around the car and then I would kind of get off the sidewalk and I was more like into the parking lot of the gas station um and then sometimes they would wait back so like the drive was clear they were waiting like behind where like the sidewalk connected to the drive I don't know if I'm explaining this very well um but they would wait back a little bit. They weren't just right up to the street. And so I would um, walk in front of them. I would I would stop. I would see that there was a car. I'd kind of stop, look at them, give them a second, make sure they see me, and then I would cross in front of them. Maybe not a smart idea, um, but like I had places to be. I felt like I could see the cars. I felt pretty confident in crossing those. Um, but one time I was you know, looked, saw that there was a car, waited a second, made sure they see me, and then I started to walk. And at the minute that I started to walk, the car started to pull out of the drive. And they ran over the tip of my cane, um, which was like, I don't know, three feet from my body, which was very scary. That's how close they were to hitting me. They literally ran over the tip of my cane. And it 
scared me. Like, I almost got hit by a car. They didn't stop. They didn't slow down. They didn't yell sorry out the window as they were driving away. Like, nothing. Just ran over a blind person's cane and just kept going kept going. Um, really great person. Um, anyways, they broke the tip of my cane. So now like I don't have a cane. I'm in my adrenaline is just going because I almost got ran over and it was really scary. Okay. My next cane horror story. It's not really a horror story. That's very dramatic. Um, but anyways, I was on my way to a job interview um, and so I have one of those folding canes that like folds up into four segments. I think that's probably like the common cane that people have these days. Um, and I don't know if any of you guys know this. Hopefully you don't know this from personal experience. But if you get some kind of body part or skin pinched in one of those segments while you are folding or unfolding your cane, it hurts really bad. Um, so... I was going to a job interview. I had just gotten out of the car and I went to unfold my cane to walk in and I got this, the piece of skin in between your thumb and your pointer finger caught in one of those segments. It hurt very, very badly. So I'm bleeding and I'm crying. I was literally about to just walk into this job interview and now I'm bleeding and I'm crying. Um, luckily, my husband had taken me to the interview and like I had just stepped out of the car when this happened. So I was able to get some napkins from the glove box, clean up my blood, clean up my tears. Um, I was a real disaster. Um, so I was able to compose myself um, relatively well before walking into this job interview. Thank goodness. Um, you know, I, my husband had taken me and I didn't take like an Uber that just drove away as soon as I got out of the car where I wouldn't have had access to some kind of like napkins to clean myself up. Um, so yeah, that was, um, not a fun time. So my next section of stories is kind of more like uh, experiences in using a cane and how other people, like the general public, react to you or interact with you with a cane. So for one, I have been asked so many times, I can't even tell you how many times, what is that or why do you have that? Which kind of blows my mind because how do people not know what a white cane is. Um, it, I feel like that is kind of common knowledge or should be. I don't know why people don't know what it is. And before you come up in my comments and say, oh, it's because your cane is hot pink, people don't know what that is, um, let me correct you. Um, the entire time I was in college, I had your standard, regular, old, plain, white cane. And that's when most of these occurrences happened, when I had just your regular run-of-the-mill white cane. I only had my hot pink cane for like a couple of years um, until my husband bent it, slash I, I tripped my husband and he bent it and then I couldn't use it anymore. And now my cane is like the first three segments are white and then the bottom segment is hot pink which is not too far off from your like standard white cane where most of it's white and then the bottom is red. Um, it's very similar to that. So I don't think that's the reason. Anyways, um, I've been asked so many times, what is it? I specifically remember one time um, I was in college. I took an aerobics class for like college credit. Um, and the instructor of the class um, one time was talking to me, asked me if I was like in band or something or mentioned something about band. I know like um, there's not a whole lot of detail in these stories, but look guys, I'm, I'm almost 30, which is very painful to say. And this happened when I was like 18. So these stories are kind of old, so I don't remember all the details. Um, 
But anyway, so she asked me something about being in band. And I was like, um, no, I'm not in band. And she was like, oh, is that, I thought that was a mallet and pointed to my cane. Granted, I did have it folded up and had the ball tip. So I will give people a slight pass if a cane is folded up. I know that doesn't look like a traditional blind cane and especially if it has the ball on the end. So I don't really know what a mallet looks like. I don't know that I've ever seen a mallet so I don't know how similar those look. Um, but yeah, she thought my folded up cane was a mallet. Um, I've also, I think someone asked me if it was like a golf club or something. <laughs> I don't remember exactly. Um, so yeah, people are confused about what it is. Um, and then also I've had a bunch of people ask me why I have it, um, which if they know what it is, is a dumb question. Obviously I have a blind cane because I'm blind. Um, but one time it specifically sticks out to me, which is I was going, walking into my college algebra class and this guy stopped me and um, I don't remember if he started off by like asking what it was or something, but he goes on to say like, oh, are you doing that thing where you try to like put yourself in someone else's shoes? I don't remember exactly what he said, but insinuating that I was doing some kind of like social experiment where I pretend to be blind or like, I don't know if he meant like pretend to be blind, but like put yourself in a blind person's shoes to see what it's like. And I was like, N no, I'm not trying to see what it's like to be blind for a day. I'm blind every day. Like this is my life. I'm using this because I'm blind. It was very bizarre. So he knew what the cane was, obviously, if he thought I was like experimenting being blind. And rather than thinking that I have a blind cane because I'm blind. He thought I was doing some kind of experiment, which I guess goes into that whole like, you don't look blind thing. Other, rather than the obvious answer of that person has a cane because they're blind, I guess he thought, oh, she certainly doesn't look blind, so she must be doing some kind of an experiment. It doesn't make any sense. Um, also, the dumbest part was I wasn't like blindfolded or wearing really dark sunglasses or anything. So if you're really going to try and put yourself in the shoes of a blind person for a day, why would you just be using your eyes? Like, I'm going to see what it's like to be a blind person for a day. So I'm just going to use my working eyes and look around, but like carry this stick around as an accessory. What? Like that makes no sense at all whatsoever. Um, but makes for interesting stories, I guess. So another common experience I had when using my cane, and you guys tell me if you have experienced this too. Is this common? Is this just me? But a lot of times people would, A, stop talking when I would pass them. Like I would be walking towards a group of people that'd just be like chatting, going about their business. And when I would approach and like walk past them, they would stop talking. I don't know if I was just so distracting to them, like to see a blind person that they needed to stop their conversation to stare at me or what. I don't know why this happened. It happened all the time though. And then secondly, very often, once I would pass people, they would talk about me as if I couldn't hear them. I don't know, like, it's not just a blind thing. It's like an every person thing that hearing is like 360 degrees. I can hear behind me. Even if I have passed you, I can still hear you. But people would talk about me a lot. They would say like, oh, look at that blind person. Or is she really blind? She doesn't look blind. Sometimes people would compliment me and say that like they, that my outfit was cute or like that I was cute, which is always nice to hear. But I don't know why they thought that I couldn't hear them, but it would happen a lot. Um, and which also reminds me of another kind of funny story. When I was doing 
O&M training. Um, my O&M instructor was kind of just like talking about my surroundings as we were walking along. She was like, okay, there's a, I don't know, whatever in front of you. There's a light post to your right. There's some people whispering about you up to your left, which I thought was hilarious. I guess she could see them like looking at me and then like whispering. Um, and she straight called them out, um, which I thought was really funny. Um, but anyways, y'all let me know if this is something that you experience. Like, do people talk about you when you pass them as if you can't hear them? So another common thing that I experienced when I would be walking along with my cane, and I I could see this happening um, back when I had more vision. I wouldn't be able to see it now. But people would do one of two things. If they saw you coming, they would either not move at all or they would move so far away from you it was a little unnecessary. Um, I would see people see me coming and they would give me such like the widest berth ever. They'd get off the sidewalk, go like way over into the grass. I don't know if they were just trying to be like extra considerate so that they were really out of my way or if they thought I had the plague or if they were afraid of getting whacked with a cane, I don't know, but they would really go way out of their way to avoid me. Um, or sometimes people would be like in a group talking and some people in the group would see me coming and yell at their friends and be like, dude, dude, get out of her way, move. Um, which is nice that they were considerate, but also sometimes quite a bit over the top and it would be like slightly embarrassing that all of that commotion was happening on my behalf. Um, but other times people would literally just stand there, not get out of my way. I have seen people stand there and look at me, watch me coming and just stand there. Like they're, I don't know if they feel like they're playing chicken with me or if it's like a test to see if I'm going to run into them or if they're just like so, I don't know, surprised by seeing a blind person. They're like frozen in this deer in the headlights. I don't know why people do this, but it would happen pretty often. Um, and even worse than that, one time, not a college cane story, it was a few years after college, I was doing some more advanced um, orientation and mobility training. I, um, since I had lost um, a significant amount of vision, I was doing um, training blindfolded because I was really, when I was like younger in college, I was really cheating because I was using my eyes most of the time and using the cane as like a backup. I was pretty lazy with using the cane because I just assumed I would. I could see well enough to get around. Um, so I started doing training blindfolded. So I was on um, an excursion doing training. I was walking around outside. And so I've got my white cane. I'm blindfolded. It's like a black sleep mask looking thing. It's obviously a blindfold. And so I'm walking around and I hear this group of ladies talking and they're a little ways up in front of me. I'm like, okay, there's a group of ladies need to, you know, logging that as an obstacle. Um, but as I get a little bit closer, I don't hear them anymore. So I'm like, okay, I guess they moved out of my way or like they've gone on. They've, they've walked away. They're somewhere else. No, they were standing there just in the middle of the sidewalk. Um, and so like I did run into them with my cane, which like, isn't a huge deal. Like you don't have to just, you know, avoid me like the plague. If my cane hits your foot, like it's, it's really not a huge deal. Um, but it is polite to, to move out of the way. Um, but not only did they not move out of my way when I clearly cannot see them, I'm literally blindfolded. Not only do they not move out of my way, but they stop talking. So I can't hear them. So I don't even know that they're in my way anymore. Like, why? Why? I do not understand 
people. So tip for people out there, if you see someone with a white cane, number one, just assume they're blind. That's the safest assumption. If you see someone with a white cane, they are most likely blind. Okay, common sense. Um, number two, move out of the way. You don't have to go like way over there somewhere, but like slightly move out of the way so they don't run into you. You could even say something like, you know, if you step over to the side and say like, oh, I'm on your left or I'm on your right. So the person knows that you're there. Um, if nothing else, if you really cannot be bothered to move, or maybe there's nowhere that you can move, um, you could at least say something like, I'm, I'm right in front of you, or there's a, there's a group of us up ahead, something, or at least, at the very, very, very least, continue on with your conversation so the blind person can at least hear that you're there. Um, yeah, that would, that would be super. So anyways, I guess that is all about my cane stories and experiences. Well, not all, but the ones that stick out to me. And so I just thought I would share those with you guys today. I would love for you to share with me your cane stories. Um, do you relate to any of these experiences? But also like, do you have any interesting slash funny slash scary cane stories? I would love for you to share those in the comments below. Um, I really love reading your comments. I may not respond to all of them, but I do read every single comment that I get, even the ones on my older videos. And I really do love hearing from you guys. So, um, I'd love to read your comments. Also, if you have any ideas for videos from me that you would like to see, definitely leave those in the comments as well. Um, I just don't have a ton of video ideas anymore. I've made so many videos over the past couple of years, especially the first few years that I was doing it and I was putting out videos every single week. I've covered a lot of topics and um, I'm kind of running out of ideas and I don't like to make videos just to make videos. Like I want to actually have something to say. Um, so let me know what you guys would like to see from me in the future. Um, I, I don't know where I was going with that. Anyways, um, I guess that's all. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, it was great to, to be back in front of the camera and hopefully I will see you guys soon.